In this video, we will cover how to add an activity to an Android Studio project which has started with no activity. So let's open up our Android Studio and create a new project with no activity. Let's call it no activity and let's switch our language to Java. You can use Kotlin if you prefer and then press finish. And after our project is done building, make sure that your view in the top left is selected as Android so that you have the same file structure as me. This way it will be easier to follow along. So next we will open our app folder, our manifests folder and go into android manifest.xml and in android manifest the first thing we will have to do is replace this closing bracket with a full closing application tag and then just before it we're going to add an empty activity for now. Activity android name equals to empty quotation marks because we will not be giving it a name at the moment and then we can close it off and we're done with this file for now so now let's open our java folder and in the top folder over here make sure it's not the one marked android test or test right click and create a new java class which we will call main.java and first we have to add an extension to our main class so that it inherits activity methods with extends activity we're gonna have to import the class and next we will be overriding the on create method override detected void on create and then as parameters we have to pass in nullable bundle saved instance state import the class and inside of this method we will be calling the superclass dot on create passing it our saved instance state. Next, we will type in set content view, which for now we will leave empty. And next we will open our res folder, to which we will add a new Android resource directory, which we will call layout and the resource type will be layout. You can click OK. And then in that folder, we're going to create a new layout resource file, which will be the actual activity. So let's call it our activity. Uh, we can press OK now. And as you can see, we created an activity. So let's just put some elements, for example, just text view in the middle. And let's constrain it to both sides and top and bottom so that it's centered. And in the menu on the right, let's just set the text to be hello world. We can change the font size as well. Maybe not that big. Yep, that should be fine. And after you're done setting up your first screen or your first activity for your app, we will be going back to main.java and we will pass on a new parameter to our set content view which will be r.layout.r activity and this is how we pass our actual activity to our method and finally we go back to android manifest and inside of the activity brackets we will be adding action android name equals android.intent.main and category Android name, Android intent category dot launcher. And actually I forgot this should be inside of intent filter brackets. So first let's just add those and then paste it inside. And finally, let's fill in our Android name to be dot main. And after it, let's finally add Android exported equals to true. Uh, I've run into some formatting issues, but I think we're fine now. Uh, just make sure to add a closing bracket here after our target API and then make sure that both those two tags are called application and those two tags are called manifest. My ID was going crazy and when I was trying to rename this one it was changing also my first manifest tag but if you make sure everything looks like this your application should be completely fine and it should run smoothly. So if you start your app, you should be seeing your layout, which you produced in the our activity file. And just to show you that it works, I've opened the application on my phone. As you can see, we have text saying hello world as our application is running. So that would be it for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.